Welcome back to the Open Goal FC podcast brought to you today by our official legal partner, John Dwight. How you doing, Don, my friend? Are you alright? I'm good, I'm good. Thanks for getting me back on. It's good. I think he's been the best touch of ever did speak about that touch, didn't we? He's been the best for a for a long time now, isn't he? Unbelievable. Who's his class? Who's his class? <laughs> Who's his class? And what are you here today to talk about, boy? I'm here to talk about missold car finance. <laughs> Fuck you hate that. <laughs> oh. So our group action team have uh, uncovered over the last two decades that there's been a large number of, of missold car finance agreements which which means that if you've taken out any type of car finance over the last 20 years, uh, you could be due significant amounts of compensation. Well, have you ever had any issues, boys, with cars and compensation and, on, and all that jazz? Well, if I did, I know who would phone. Yeah. Dom, the man here, so we'll get a wee word after this, Dom. <laughs> How would someone know they might be eligible to claim? Right. Well, these, these car dealerships, they're, they're under um, a legal duty to, to follow certain rules when it comes to car finance agreements. So there's, there's certain things that they, they should be doing and, and shouldn't be doing. So for example, um, they should be carrying out affordability checks. So some customers might go in and if they haven't had an affordability check carried out, they could be tied into a long-term deal that they can't afford. There's other type of commissions that people don't realise that the, the car dealership are actually receiving for referring you on to a finance company. Um, and just generally not being talked through what the agreement is and um, what your financial options are um, and in and, and general things if you've been affected by any one of these then, then it's been missold to you and you're potentially due compensation for that And how do they contact you mate? So the best way is to go onto the Jones White website joneswhite.co.uk it should be on underneath just now oh, on, put it up, aye. on the comments stage it takes you less than two minutes go onto the website put your details in and we'll let you know whether or not you qualify and I'm just mean I think this is one that's Matt we've all been thinking. Is there a limit on how much you can claim? So, in terms of cars, Aye. doesn't matter if you've had one car or fifty cars. There you go. Over the last twenty years, if you've had car finance, there's a good chance it's been missold to you. That's everything today, mate. Is that outstanding? How's your life Perfect. going anyway? It's been going well. It's been is going it, well, mate. Anything you want to report to us? Nah. No. <laughs> okay. Dom <laughs> shaping around that boy's got Dom good on my man. Okay, we have the wonderful Lewis Dawson here and Michael Tidger back. Boys, how we doing, alright? Good, mate. Good, no, wait, mate. Good no, but the thing me. I can't understand, you two are best mates, aren't you? He's in Fitmore. Well, he's windy when we played together. That was, I never heard him talking about you, so I don't know how this has came about. Do you know what? I met, I met you under, under 19s at Selic, my right. first year full time, mate. And he came in and you put no, your arm I remember, I remember you coming in when he was younger, like Easter and stuff like that, remember? He used to come in and I used to come in, but I was, it was always me, James Keatons, that used to come up with, a, right. with the older boys and stuff. I was a wee. A letter. So when I came in, you put your arm around this and the rest is history, mate. No, 100%. And, and did you play with each other? Did you play with each other in the other teams away from Celtic? Aye, we crossed paths again. At, um, <laughs> each other, like. We played with each other at Falkirk again. A couple of years ago under Ray McKinnon, um, which was good. Eventful. Good times, weren't it, Tosh? I was and then we've obviously just me. kind of kept in contact. Two as I went the same way, but you know, the friendship remains. I love that. And a wee night out on Sunday just after the season. When I watched uh, Selig play Hearts at Tynecastle in, uh, in pub in Glasgow in Grace's, so it was a good night, eh? We got Couldn't get that in there, could you? He's not the type of part of Selig fans. Come on, mate. <laughs> what are you doing there? We <laughs> 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 plenty of <laughs> that. Right, by the way, amazing. Tinsel, the last time you were here, you're a player. It's now confirmed you are the Kelty Hearts manager. Hey, it's Tosh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. speech. <laughs> How quickly it changes. No, oh, amazing. How did that come about? Just obviously, um, in terms of the club, guy used to look and laugh at him, but he's doing not even already. In terms of Kelty, they all kind of, the Dean, Andy Barman and John Potter all, I kind of heard they were going to be got to Rafe. It was on, it was off. And then I spoke to them kind of at the tail end of the season. He says, let's back on. Um, and I'll be honest, I asked as a player, I was like, what's going to happen to the club? Um, and I had a couple of conversations with him and then I spoke to him a couple of weeks ago and he says, look, do you want to take the club forward? Which came as a bit of a surprise for me, to be honest. Um, I, 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 I didn't had in my mind I wanted to stay in football, but then it began an opportunity last year and it's, it was too hard to kind of turn down. Had there been any thoughts <clears throat> throughout the season or last season that you were wanting to be a manager or coaching? Or? No, well, I've started my badges and stuff like that. So right. I, and obviously, obviously, Tosh is doing a bit of management now and 33 now, so I thought, you know, what's my next step? But again, it's hard. Was well, you playing as well, Tidger? Sorry, player manager like Reese McKay. So, so in terms of like Reese is staying, I am still going to play, which I know will be tough, but I still feel like I've got something to offer. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, 33, but I'm no 37, 38. Well, well of course, yeah. completely done. So, 
you know, it's going to be tough. I'm just trying to sort all that out now in terms of pre-season and when we're back and, you know, I'll keep myself fit anyway. So I'll see how it goes. Has, it been, has it been an eye-opener, mate, with, regarding budgets and you need to get your staff? And oh, has that been tough, mate? Very tough. Um, and you don't realise how hard it is. Obviously, you've probably seen bits and bobs in the past year, but yeah. um, in terms of that, like, listen, I had to to have some hard conversations with some of my, my teammates, my pals, you know, boys I, I really like. Um, it's, it's the worst, isn't it? Ah, it's, it's ah. horrible, mate, and I had to say to them what the one part of the plans coming forward, and, and it wasn't, a lot of it wasn't because of them as players, kind of a, in terms of budgets and stuff like that, and where the clubs want to go. Um, it's, it's got, it, listen, we've done, ever, I said this last time I was on, we've done ever so well to get up the leagues. You now it's about stabilising the club and, you know, try to stay in the league and, you know, be, be like a Montrose, be like an Airdrie, be like a, an Alloa who are consistently there. Consistently there. there. Aye, because it's not, listen, it's a tough league. It's, it's, you'll see the now with Peter Heagan doing <coughs> and teams with decent budgets as well. So it's, listen, I'm, I'm not daft. I know it's a, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult, but you know, I'm, I'm more than focused to, to go and get a right good call. Is he, see, cause, see, cause Kelly is obviously a part time team. It's a full time job. Yeah. Eh? Like oh, how no. much have you noticed that for a player to be a manager? I know he was a host here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just, no, yeah, I'm a great question. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. Aye, in terms of, um, cause when you play, you know, I see when you're playing, you, you, especially when you're full time, you go home, you go and do whatever you're doing, but see when you're a manager, you're constantly, mm. like, I had a phone call this morning, a player saying, look, I'm wanting to move on. He's got another year. Right. I didn't expect him to do it, but, I have to kind of respect his wishes and, and then I says, look, I'll see what I can do for my end and we'll try and get something sorted because I've never heard a player as well if he doesn't want, to, doesn't want to be there. You want people all kind of a push in the right direction for you. Um, Who was that? By the way, so uh, in that respect, it's, it's completely different in terms of organising pre-season Slaney and trying to get games in and dealing with, dealing with budgets. You see, I'm mm -hmm. having to offer boys wages and you know boys are like to talk shite, don't they? You, Aye. Boys will always add a hundred. They know what they're getting this. Aye. They're not. We know you're not. Oh, we know no, you're no. not getting done that. You've done Sorry, wee bits and bobs. But listen, I'm prepared for that. I'm, as I can be as honest with players, even if boys I've spoke to try to get bring in, I've just been honest and says, look, come and try and play for me. I'm going to be out there, help me on the park. I'll help you for the side. I'll help you after the park. All the things which Thanks I think is important. You. Hey, round of applause. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 there you go. <laughs> I, I think you're only as good as the man beside you, your assistant manager. Is that in place yet, your assistant? Because I know I'm up for sale. Yeah, correct. You're up for sale. <laughs> no, I'm not. He's not up for sale. He's Is there anybody in your head, mate? I've met three or four different people. Um, again, it needs to be right, Slaney, because if I'm going to be playing, it's, it's a big responsibility as well. Die, of, of course, course I've got to be thinking for the side. Um, and I need somebody probably with a bit of experience. Now, I don't mean somebody that's been 70 years of age and been about the game for forever. I need somebody that's probably relevant in terms of what the squad's like now. Um, so, again, I've spoke to three or four. It's just about trying to kind of get the right one. Um, I've got another couple of meetings in the next couple of days. So, I just want to try and get it right because... Well, that is that is so I, important. I mean, even probably more so because you are going to be playing. Of course, mate. Of course. Um, well, I, I'm not just saying this, but I know you're we're going to go into your sort of re -man your management stint. No, we management, so your management stint. Uh, what about... So I had a conversation with him and oh, he's knocked it back. He's he's listen. I, I, I respect what he's trying to do with, with, with his own club, um, but again, I would be foolish not to ask him because I know he loves coaching. I know right, he loves. Yeah, good, eh? I know he loves being part of the boys. I know he, he genuinely cares. And and sometimes, you know, people say you never take your mates in because you can end up falling out and lose trust and loyalty. But listen, I know him inside out. I'm sure he would have he would have been great for me. But you know, he's got his own vision and his own path. So I wish him all the best. Dun, dun, dun. I've got, as I say... No, you are, so toss your management, yeah. Dund Dundee North End. Correct. Now, just for the people in Glasgow, because is yeah. it a junior team? Yeah, junior team with ambitions of going up the pyramid system. The pyramid oh, yeah. system's in place for us to get the, the SFA licence that we need. Um, I think you need the floodlights, etc. There's always bits and bobs to go in, but we've got the ambitions to move up the leagues. And it's the same with me and Kev McNaughton, who's my co-manager as well. Oh, so is it a co you know, you missed that no, out. Co-manager. So who's the main man? I'm the main man. Really. Are you? <laughs> He'll say that. Who's got the, is, is, if you see, he's got that in him, that nasty side, because I know you've got that in abundance. Uh -huh. No, the nasty side, the side you need to buy the way I agree with you, aye. Didn't you? Aye. Have you got that? Ah, you see, to be honest, I've, I have got that. I have got that. Mean, and I've not really showed it. Um, right. I've not needed to show it because the boys have been at it. I think Kev's more of the, more of that side. I'm more hands on, more of the coaching side of things. You that, didn't you, mate? I'm, all I know is football, so I've been involved in football all my life and I've it's had many. Walk away, uh, it's, it's, it's like I tried to walk away and I tried to get a, a normal job, etc. It's, it's so hard to do, mate. Difficult, but. Aye, brutal, innit? Oh, it's horrendous. Horrendous. So what, what, you, what do you, you wear a three piece suit at the side, didn't you? 
Right, I've heard that all right. I had to take it off. It was too hot though. The sun's scorching at North End. <laughs> Dundee, yeah. But I remember you, and you don't believe this. Well, you will believe it because you said, me. You, <laughs> said, I was, you were with a team maybe a couple of years ago, Tosh, d looking into the management, and I remember you sent me a document, and it was, it sat, planned all these sessions. Now, that, I think it was maybe like, I could be right, maybe it was a junior team. It was a junior team as well. Another junior team, and I was thinking, yeah. that's incredible the amount of time that you put, I mean, it was. Barrel loads of sessions you set back up. There, that's probably a side you don't see him though, do you know what I mean? No, I know, 100%. You see all the nonsense. Show your real side now. Correct, correct. And I'm starting to show it. I'm starting no. to grow up a wee bit. <laughs> My word. What a fantastic <laughs> career. Oh, <laughs> 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 no, 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 what, three years ago, four years ago, I think I got asked. Never got allowed. Remember COVID? Do you remember that? Sai was trying to get his on, obviously. I couldn't go on. And then it's just been put him right down. No, I mean, I'm only, I'm, I mean, that was only a wee talk, bit of tongue in cheek. Yeah. You have had a brilliant career. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, no, yeah, of course you have, mate. Of course you have. Right, right Toshy boy, came through at Celtic. How did you get signed with Celtic in the first place? <laughs> through, there's a Dundee centre, well, actually, there was a Dundee centre, I don't know anymore, but um, in Dundee there was a Celtic centre, uh, Tommy Burns was good mates with a guy, Sean Smith, right. Sai came through the same the same process, got picked up, um, Sunday boys, 11 year old, 10 year old, signed for Celtic at 12, um, you're, you're meant to get three trial games, I only needed one mate, there you go, uh, easy. That, yeah. that, believe it or not, you can ask James Keatons if you ever get him on, I know you don't want him I on. don't want him on, you don't want him on, because he just, all he does is, can terrorise you didn't he? Uh, <laughs> Mate, see when you were injured, they used to just fucking well, come up, you know matter the injury, cruise you, broke leg, rip your hair right out. Oh, and he just makes, oh, see that way you're sitting talking and he'll just come for you and the slaughtering he gives you is br brutal. <laughs> and that, do, you remember, do you remember the time you stayed at mine? One night after the game? Delete the video. <laughs> <laughs> Delete that video mate, because that is, that would end me that. Why are you bringing that up? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rich, come for a minute. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. What was um, it, FIFA? Was it your FIFA? Ah, uh, you lost, you lost FIFA. You lost it was something like that, it was a forfeit and... Oh. Can only imagine. Slain it You can imagine. But Keatsy, honestly, what a guy. Just total, Love total. Keatsy, didn't it? Just oh, a so pest. Sharp, Keatsy, <laughs> total pest. There was a way slot on there, but a total pest. So you get your one trial game, you play brilliant, you don't need another two. Scored, um, scored two in that game, scored an over a kick in the last minute. Where and that's play? true. Uh, right midfield, I think. Okay. It's like the three, and that's honestly one was five Tommy four. Was Tommy Burns there watching? No, no. no it was your manager's, was Owen Archdeacon. Oh, I, I, I played with his son, Mark. Right. Um, and I think John Sludden as well. I think Sludy was the manager, so again, I signed after that, and then that was it. Every year, you just go through a kind of a process of you're going at Barfield, you get told if you're getting a contract or not. So, did you need to, did you stay in Glasgow or did you travel? Nah. When did you move to Glasgow? So, we trained in the Dundee Centre, um, a we trained Tuesday, Thursdays. On a Friday, we travel through to Glasgow, so my dad had to take us through, train one night a week, and then we play on a Sunday. Um, so, it was basically travel twice a week. Um, I moved to Glasgow, first professional contract was 16. Um, moved through to the digs in Hamilton, where the stories that I've got for there is Come on, scary. Where'd you stay with? Bagwell. Very first. <laughs> Baggy. <laughs> Bag Bag Bagwell. Theodore Bagwell. So, uh, nah, um, at the very start, Richard Fielder, you wouldn't have been there. No, um, Remember Richie mm -hmm. Fielder? Romanian. You were at Motherwell, right? It was, um, yeah, you were at Motherwell. Fine, you were um, you're all bit like you were. It's going over head kicks. Five or six. Five or six. I'm in Nelson doing all head kicks in training. Very good. Good team up, five or six. Just crying. We'll cut that, certainly. Right, go on. Five or six. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Big tosh. He's all right. Right, come on. No, Richie was the first thing then. I thought there was. A revolving door came to hang in, in that house and in, in tell us your stories, mate, because that was amazing, wasn't it? Um, I'll tell you a story. I, I don't know if you'll cut this out, but this is <laughs> this is crazy, mate. This is sums Baggy up. Calm Bagshaw. Me moved in. Guy from Aberdeen. You know, but you know aye. Baggy as well. You know Baggy. Did you? Aye, aye. Do you know him well? Right. Okay. No, but the guy's like a total, total oddball. Total oddball. <laughs> no, seriously, I've never met a guy like him. Right now, I'm I'm on par. Well, but just below. But this guy's crazy. <laughs> Um, any time Mary would go out, it would be... So Mary was who you stayed with? Mary was who we stayed with, she was the Diggs lady. Um, lovely woman, lovely woman. She would go out the house, we would play cards, etc. 
who ever lost had to put Mary's clothes on. So next thing you could uh, you could only imagine the honestly you could only imagine the stuff. Dude, we're at Chinese. I don't know if it's been told on us. Um, we're at a Chinese. Um, baggies, dressed, bra, pants. Literally, that's it. High heels, right? And a Chinese in Hamilton. It, youth players at Celtic, right? You would think anybody could walk in. And Chris um, McCart lives just up the road and aye, stuff like aye. that. Like anybody could walk in. Head of youth. It keeps says standing at a Chinese. I'm standing outside. Obviously, pushing myself, laughing. Eh? Keith says, what are you standing outside for? I said, I'm just waiting on a Chinese one. Go. So he walks in. Next thing, Baggy standing, ordering the Chinese salt and pepper balls and all that. With black pants. Honestly, couldn't have liked it. Eh? But just, it was just, there's loads of stories. I remember, never ever showered. Never ever got naked in the shower. Eh? Never ever did it. Mate. He's obsessed with Baggy, right? Uh, when he says, we come back, he says, right, that's it. We need to see it. We need to see him ball naked. And I'm just like, well, how are you going to do it? He says, right, when we get in the house, we're just no leaving his room. Now, Baggy had, had the wee box room in Mary's. So it was pure tiny. We had the big rooms there. Just in this. Literally like him. this. Remember, remember that, that, right? I did. I'm no joking. He was, in, he was in this wee box room. Me and Baggy sat for the whole day trying to <laughs> Willie out. The whole day, I'm no joking, right? <laughs> Literally, right? And my fellow out one, we ended up fun out one, bro. Baggy's like, come on, get it out. Once you do it, that's it, fine. <laughs> Mate, honestly, it was an actual joke. Mate, 16 years of age. Like 16, 17, like this guy. And we went to her team, Mary shouts, boys, that's dinner. <laughs> so next thing, we're sitting 18, no speaking. And then Baggy's constantly, so we're back in. Honestly, I went to about nine o'clock, like nine o'clock at night. We had these top off. We had these socks off, literally sitting in these boxers. So all you need today is just pull the boxers down. That's it, it's done. <laughs> well, next thing, mate, I'm no joking. <laughs> Boom, right to him, he's like, Neil, are you happy now? <laughs> mate, me and Baggy were just saying, yeah, that's just <laughs> what we were celebrating. Oh, anyway, yeah. oh, oh hilarious. magic. Hilarious. Who was the characters that, uh, coming through the with you, Tidza? Um, him. What about they were younger. Who was that? Big Charlie, not with he told. They were older than me. A lot older, I, was I, it? I used to go and train with them. Midge, Gardine, uh, Sai. Um, nah, they were all. They were. I love spending. I've said this to you before. I love going up with them. So obviously my youth team was like, well, well, I'm trying to think. At your age, like James, James and that came up. Hayden Cochran, all the boys. Aye. Greg Wild. Um, but my <laughs> age group was kind of a me the Irish boys. Uh, Paul Callahan, remember him? We Kev College, Jason Ma. Aye. Um, but then when I went up with them, it was always there was always something going on up there. Like they're always just carrying on, but a good laugh. Do you know what I mean? That is different now, isn't it? Ah, it's not totally changed now. Different. Totally different. We try and have a at North End, and now we try and have a laugh with the boys, and that. But you've got to, you'll be the same when you go, and you've got to take a step back. Yeah. No, you can't be right yeah. in as a manager. What is your type of management? I'm more hands on, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm in with the boys. I speak to the boys constantly. You need to be careful about it. Cause I know that. I know that. I've been told that. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> what is your philosophy? Attack. Just a tap. Nah, nah, do you know what? Nah, what I philosophy? Need... I don't know. We need mean? to adapt. You need to adapt to who you're playing against. Right. We we play, there's six or seven, right? Listen. Oh, wait a minute, I like that. Type there's six like or that. seven, right? No, the philosophy doesn't change. We play, we've got two tactics. Our voices so it does again. change. It does change. <laughs> it does change. So we'll go back can. on that. <clears throat> you need to call fire. I was about to say that. Sorry about that. Aye, what are you doing with uh, uh, Do you know what? It's, I've never shouted so much in my life. I don't know if I mentioned my LT Academy, my... My new thing that I've started, like your Bocca. Have you met I? Oh, well, that's right? fucking brilliant for the kids. Get, how's your Twitter Academy going? Doing really well. Oh, I've had brilliant. To put a wee, just a wee stop me to know. Ah, of course, just mate. Why I'm, I'm trying to meet players and fucking Good well, agents. I've and... <laughs> well done, Tosh. I've well done, Tosh. Big one, LT Academy. LT Academy. Where did you get it for? I've done it for me a week later, you get any miter buzz. Any goals? I'm going to start it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I seen yourself then. I, I spoke to you about it, didn't I? And I wanted to meet you for a coffee and ask you what sort of what do you, what do you do? Well, how do you start it? How do you go about it? He never helped us. Black to phone, you. boom, right, right down. Good for you. Me and Tam are doing then. That's this way. Like, I'm not interested in you. <laughs> Perfect. What are you? What is? And we're going to go back onto this. But what is the boat? Where, where do you want to do? What do you want to do in coaching? Do you want to go as high as you can go? I'm you asked me that. Small. You asked me that all day. But aye, because I said to him, "What's your ambition? What do you?" Do you know what I mean? Good. And to be fair to him, he says that he's got a path that he wants to kind of a follow. Obviously, mine's just slightly different because I've almost been thrown out of deep end, do you know what I mean? Which was my choice. I would... That's a real hard job for your first job, mate. Of course it? it is. Of course that's, it is. But so many, it's a good time. What did I say, no, and go and keep playing and then regret it aye, fucking three years' time it, and I'd be as well just get my teeth into it and... 100%. Listen, I'm going back myself, mate. I know that might sound a bit fucking big time or whatever, but... But you've got it, mate. You can't, you know. I've, I've played football my days and I, I'd like to think I know how 
how I would like to be treated and how I'd like ses sessions to be and how I want to play as a player. So see, when I asked him about the philosophy and how you play, you kind of, would be phased to look at him as if I ain't sure about that when he's, have you got a style <laughs> the way you want to play or do you feel you need to adapt at times? No, and listen, I think he's right in what he's saying. You need to be adaptable because you know the league's are hard, mate. It's mm -hmm. not like, you've gone at them in throws and you know it's, they're good teams, do you know what I mean? But you know it's going to be physical, even the same as Aloha. Um, Erdry, Erdry are brilliant at keeping the ball. They, you seen it last night, they obviously went and, went and beat Falkirk last night. Um, Wait, was it 5 0? No, I finished. What's the ball, right? Aye. But then you were coming back. Did you, know, did you know that? <laughs> no, no bother. So oh, they added the surprise maybe. It's coaching. They, they, they done us six a couple of, about a month ago. Um, they're good at what they do. Again, Reese has got them all playing a certain way. And he plays Reese, didn't he? Aye, he plays. I played last night. I scored. Um, and it just shows you it can be done. Um, mm -hmm. I think that I, I think they'll go up. Eh? Do you? I, I think they'll go up. I say that even before the playoffs. Wow. They've just they've had a good bit of form. Gallagher scores goals. Gab, um, Miguel scores goals. We Frizzell, they all chip in. I think they've scored the most goals out of every every team other than certain Rangers. Have they? Out with the uh, mate, is that, is that, I that mean that's the thing going on in that league as much as your first. It's such a tough league and all oh, the teams in it, isn't it. It's hard. So again, go back to your original question. Listen, I've got a way I want to play. Hundred percent. Um, Will that be playing it? I'll try. I'll try and play. Aye. 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 Listen, you need to sign the right players as well. So that's it's hard. Close. I'm trying to sign players anew and, and sometimes you, know? ah, you need the players. Sometimes there'll be a bit of doubt in your head when you're signing players signing because you're thinking, can he play it? Do you know what I mean? But I'd like to think and I, I learned this under Tomo, under Kevin Thompson, like <coughs> he made players play it that probably won the comfortable day in it. Well, do you think that's right to do that? Well, we won the league with fucking twenty points. There you go, there's an answer. There you go. Go. I was asking the question, I don't know why you're never <laughs> So listen, listen. You need, you need again. You need to be adaptable. You need to, if somebody's not really not comfortable, or whatever. But again, I'm trying to sign the right players. That I think, and I'm not going to get everyone right. I know that, and I'm going to make mistakes. But then again, it's a clear picture for players. Like, look, I've said, look, this is why I want you to play. See, if they don't do it, then I can say to them, well, I've told you to do it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But again, if the games you need to mix it up sometimes, and people are pressing you high, you can just spin it down a wee channel. And well, of course, there's no there's no harm in that. Do you know what I mean? I'm no. You have seen Man City doing it last week for the week for Arsenal. I see you see you playing as well though. You'll you'll be a big big help. You'll be Wait, a big you help. Talk in that, a lot in that thing. Yeah, a massive oh, help for the boys. I think that's huge. Yeah. Bringing in a good assistant as well. Aye. That stand on the pitch and, and do that. But you on the pitch with the guys, mm -hmm. I think that'll be huge for them. It'll be it'll be tough because if I'm having a fucking shocker, do you know what I mean? You, you, you do you do, but I'm not listening to take myself off and say, look, but you want competition, you want players to then say, look, I want your place, I want to play. I'm I'm realistic enough to know I'm not going to play every game, but if I can start it aside and see if a different angle and have a good assistant, as you say, beside me and, you know, pick, pick their brains as well if they've got a bit of experience. And, but again, I just want to get a, a clear picture of the players pre-season. It's, it's working hard, but listen, I want, to, I want to put in my methods and how I want to play and mm -hmm. listen, we'll see where it goes. That's excellent. Good sight. And right back to you, big boy. Yes, me and you met, we met reserves, were not it, at Celtic? Right. I can't remember, SARS 19s, eh? I remember your yeah, I can't remember how we met, but we had it half, that was for sure. Nah, didn't we? Didn't we? I took it didn't half. And who was at that point, Tosh, who was that team? It was a strange, it was a strange period that touch because uh, yeah. there was a 19s <clears throat> and then there was like four reserve players, wasn't that? And I fell into that four, four reserve, reserve players. players. And it was absolutely yeah. tortured at times, wasn't it? In there. Sometimes, that, I mean, you you were, were, sometimes you were with the first team, weren't you? And then sometimes you were with 19s. Yeah. You, you kind of just, it was whenever. The gaffer, I was learning at the time, it was whenever he needed you. Do you he remember, would come he in. Would this is fucking horrendous, right? Reserves have played on the Monday. Tuesday, we're in for a cool down. Stevie Freel's got the reserves out in the pitch, doing a job in the pitch. Nothing, you're relaxed. You, you mean, it's the best thing in the world when you play, because you know you're not training, you're right? A bit of salmon and noodles and that. And you're so relaxed, because usually when you get into training, you're fucking shitting yourself, you may be the fuck. So we're just, the, the team's jogging around, really, I'm carrying on, having a laugh. First team training on the pitch beside us. Get the whistle. Lenny shouts here, Stevie, send his two players there. So me and you're doing everything we can to hide. I think I think you have. Yeah, you go. Go, go, get, go, get, I like it. It's so me and him get called there. But it was, wasn't he, Lenny, was it your names get called or was it just two players that get told to go there? We were the two numpties that, probably because we were mucking about in Stevie's session. Right, right, so we went there, but, so what yeah. happened, did we not know the rules? No, we got we got over to the, the first team. Two players must have got out. We we are in the same team. Put a bib on, put a bib on. So us two bibs are on. Starts off. I'm taking a throne, right? Well, we never yep. knew the rules. Nothing high thrown. We don't know the rules. Nobody's dealt with anything. I mean, right? this is, this Literally, was right into a small side of games. I threw him the ball. 
next thing he stopped it I've got, controlled it and didn't know if it was one touch two touch and just froze next thing I've came clattered into him tackled <laughs> him me. on the team like, everybody's like what that Lenny's going mental maybe Lenny and Stevie who, who when his fault just said straight to you for a bit mate being serious Aye. it was ruthless Oh, oh mate, that was one of the worst feelings when you were just horrible, <laughs> 15 mate. and he's in the same team as us. I was talking to my brother about this other night, Slaney, right? <laughs> oh, me. Of course, sorry, <laughs> mate, sorry. <laughs> um, and seeing terms that, see now, like, as adults, right, see this, this is a serious question. Do you wish you could go back now and would you have done it differently in terms of when you did get that call? Or do you think, a better question, do you think players think different now? See, like, Rocco Vata and the boys Summers and that. I almost think that when I watch him, they play with no fear now. No, and I would right. love to watch them train with the first team. Yeah, I know. See, when I see my name in that list, mate, I used to actually shite myself. I think it's different. And I'd be looking at the clock, I was thinking. So did I, mate. I did it change, though. Like, I used to hit, mate, Jerry, I was going to say that scene, you said, what would you do differently? I'd have hid better. Because <laughs> 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 hiding place. Honestly, did. See his hiding place. Like, you had. Nobody knew where he was. It was fucking. I still don't know where he was. Gaz the Fizzle, remember? <laughs> mate, uh, G as well. Aye, G. We all used to look for him. Okay. Couldn't have found him. Well, what, what, hiding until you had to go to train? No, no. That's a wee bit. He's actually been a wee bit nasty there. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised he went that low there with me there. Uh, disappointed with that. No, but I'm genuinely, and you're, you're, you're bang on the money there. But I think it has changed because I've spoke to a few boys. I'm not naming the, the club, but I've been told that young bo- some young players are no different when they go into the first team. They're ready. They want to do it. But it's no like, it's almost as if they, they don't get shouted at. You're not allowed to do that now. It's the gaffers. I'm telling you, Lennon, there was no chance somebody would say to Lennon, like, put your arm around him. I he, needs, he needs an arm around him for yeah. this. Nah, he just done it as the way his way. Player, that right? was his way. If you came and trained with the first you're team, ready for the first you're team. ready for uh, the first team. And his eyes, that was, that was the way it was. And it probably, it makes you be aware of You're getting a touch and you you know if you didn't take a touch, right, you're getting absolutely slaughtered. I, but see, oh, I, may I be Gary Parker. Remember Tom? Tom? I, but see, even at that, though, Slaney, see, even at that, right, You've done that for you being a wee boy, took a touch and passed the ball, it was, it would have come. Yeah. But see, the moment you step out of that environment, you, you, you freeze, don't you? It's a mentality thing. Well, did you, would you, mate? Did you train with the, did you train a lot with uh, the first team, did you? Yeah, who was that? Who would that have been? Did Stratton's team? Stratton, aye. So, like Barry Robson, Paul Hartley, Big I'm Mac. surprised you would be like that. I, I, I was and I wasn't. I could still handle it, but I was almost like, just play safe, just keep it safe. Yeah, yeah. Whereas now, if I, if I, like, as a, as a manager, if I seen a young boy playing, I had spoke with him a couple of weeks ago and he kept and he just kept and I was like, stop playing, go and play but that. Because you can do it, do you know what I mean? And I wish now if I went back that I would be like, show it, listen, no saying I would ever play for Celtic, but at least showing that, do you know what, I can handle it a wee bit, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Opposed to just going, oh, don't want to give away the ball because you get away, you're getting fucking slaughtered. Getting slaughtered. We've got a McDonald, can oh, he Willow that, was that there. Team is, that Aye. team is so money, mm-hmm. Robson, Hartley, yep. McDonald, yep. that would have been tough. Lee Naylor, Big Daz was running about it at the time. Aye, listen, it was, again though, I just wish, and it's easy saying that now as you're older, I wish you could go imagine back. Imagine having your head now, Aye, of in course. A, in a, in an 18 year old, going five hundred games. Imagine, imagine you having your head. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know, you do, you do look back, didn't you, and go, oh, that's crazy. I wonder, sometimes you go, I don't even think it was that silly. I know. Didn't no, you know? Because some, I mean, your, your mind then was like, I can't wait for this session to be done, you should never have been thinking no, that. Never, no. I was there for 10 years, like 10 years all the way through, left when I was 21. And me, I would love to have my head now than going into like 16 when I first signed that professional coming into a changing room like his changing room. He was the, he was the captain. He was the skipper. And I was just a young boy. But again, I used to be shouting myself for training and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. It's fucking mental. See, now I, I say that to the young guys as well. We've got a wee 16 year old that plays with us. <laughs> he's got no fear. Mm-hmm. Literally no fear. He, he plays and he's, he enjoys it. And you could see the, the freedom he's got. And that's what I, I try and. Give to, to give to the young guys in my team. Wow, that's bad, that it's man. hard though for the first team boys though because there's standards at say I sell it at Rangers. Even at Kelty, there's standards when these young boys come to train with us. You've got boys boys that have played fucking all the divisions in Scotland and England and they know what's required to play in the first team. So I think there's a bit of you can have a goal, but <coughs> no, it's no like you can't you know it's like the young boys know but like, oh, fucking right. he's bullying me if you shout on Manchester, you know I mean. So there's a there's a time and a place. I think new young boys need a met a cuddle more now than ever. I don't. I think it has definitely changed. I idea, right. I don't think it was cut for up back then, minute percent. Even like when I went to come on at Kenny Shields as well, with the young boys, like he would throw a young boy in. Like I was only eighteen, played every game. You put that on watching your Ibrox. Ibrox won that nil. game. Aye, clean sheet. He scored. You and Nelson. Ibrox. You shut up. You and Nelson sent off. Me and Nelson. I was right back. I was right back. Nelson played though. Solid man. No, it was. Listen, before we go back, I know you love Kamala, didn't you? 
I do. I love you, that. You love your time. You were, uh, you were brilliant there. Um, but before we go into Kilmarnock, your debut at Celtic, I mean, that, your family obviously grew up big Celtic fans. Yeah. Is that one of the most special days of your that, life and families? Uh, that's the highlight of my career. Like, just obviously going through other season to get my granddad used to take us through to the games all the time. So, how so. does that come about, Tosh? Being a Celtic fan. No, 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 Celtic like fan. <laughs> Fuck me. Point, make your debut. Make my debut. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> being a Celtic like fan. Tell me how that came about. <laughs> I thought you wanted to speak with Celtic. Um, <laughs> no, me. Get them off. Come on. Get them off. <laughs> Shows it. Come on, you're right. No, I've stopped yeah. that. Uh, nah, making my debut. Mate, I never trained with the first team eh, before I made my debut. So, you know? I was playing, I think it was, it would have been a Sunday game. Um, and the game was a midweek up at Pataudry. And I was playing on Sunday. Um, and then I think it was a Scottish Cup against Dundee. Mate, playing. But I think I got brought off at like 50 minutes or something. Who's this for the youth team? For the youth team at Celtic. Brought off at half time. I was thinking to myself, what's going on here? I think we're four or five all up. Went off. No, enough from that, but I was kind of wondering what's going on. Maybe just getting rested or something. And then we had the chat after the game. Lennon came in. Um, Spoke to all the boys, well done, etc. etc. I can have a word with Lewis Toshley. I'm thinking to myself, I can't know what's going on here. Lenny must have told him to yeah. No, this is, I, I, that's obviously what happened, but I, I never <laughs> Sorry knew. for that. <laughs> I, never, I never knew nothing. Like, I never trained with the first team, never had any experience, kind of just with the youth team with Stevie Frail and Tommy Mack there. And then next thing, he says, You're in the squad tomorrow, done well, I heard good reports, etc. So I went up to, um, went up to Pataudry, stayed overnight. Me and Keatsy went up. Mm -hmm. um, he named the team out just as he does, bang, bang, bang. He doesn't have, there's no sheet of paper that he just names the team. Um, and then I was on the bench and I was thinking, fuck it, hell, here we go. But I ended up getting tickets for my dad, my granddad, and so all the family, all my eye. mates, and that, my mate, um, Liam Dugan, Paul Keane, they were all there. So just getting on the bench was a fucking unbelievable experience. But then when I was warming up, I think it was like obviously 15, 10 minutes to Who go. Who was the score? I think it was 3 0. Nah, we never scored, so it was 3 0 at the time. Finished 3 0. So I was warming up. Um, next thing I hear is I can't remember who I'm warming up with but I've just got the old kind of them and I'm thinking me? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like so I've went over a wee bit of side I was shy to myself well, you absolutely shy There's a, there was a video as well and I'm pure chalk white absolutely chalk white but again when I got on it was fine when I got on uh, um, but literally like shit myself but I remember playing it was like you hear the Celtic fans are obviously singing the panic for you know what 10 minutes ago I'm singing the songs when I'm playing in that as well that was incredible. Like honestly, I was. That's what genuinely. But I was. I that was crazy. But even just after the game, looking up and seeing my granddad and my, my dad, and that was incredible. See, so see after the. <clears throat> how, sorry, how did you do in the game? Did you get a touch? Did, did you get a thrown after he did something? No, I, I, the very first thing I done was a thrown. Oh, oh, was that? I got to throw in with him in it with the first team. Throw, exactly. Bring him on for throw in. <laughs> so I was. Why they brought you on? They said it was a foul throw. But I was, I actually was that, I was that full pro because I've been practicing. <laughs> so I've got my locker full pro. <laughs> so you done, did you touch the ball? Ah, yeah, I won the ball back. <laughs> Did you touch him on your feet? <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Get over like that. I'll take it. No, I'll take it for everyone. Oh, no, 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 I did Good for you, mate. Right? And that, that, that is incredible. That's everybody's dream. Um, so, see when you get back in the dressing room, Tosh. What does the boy say to you and what does Lennon that say? Actually, like? gave us a round of applause, to be fair. Uh, uh, Lennon, congratulations on the debut. Uh, gave us a round of applause. And then, to be fair, from then, I think I trained with the first team more or less all the time. All the time. Um, and I kind of got a taste of that. I went to Atletico Madrid, um, Udinese. Oh, I was so on the bench at that, Udinese in the game. Europa League. I, was, I wasn't on the bench at Atletico Madrid. I was in the stands. But again, travelling and getting the experience, going that's away with the first incredible. team. and I was, I was, it was brilliant. Um, who, who, was the, who was that Atletico Madrid team? I remember it was at Diego. Do you remember Diego? The Brazilian oh, boy. Mm. Number he 10. scored. Uh, number 10. He, was a, he, was he scored a free kick that, that game. I think it was 1 0. Celtic got beat. I'm sure it was. And they got a point um, away at Udinese when I was on the bench. Uh, again, it was warm up. I was choking to go on it. Uh, choking and just get on and get that taste. Yeah. And that's kind of what I got. Um, training with the first team, I had a wee taste. And that was when I don't know if you know this story, but. Well, here we go. So. Exclusive. I was obviously wanting to go out alone. I was just wanting to go and play. I was 18. I got a taste for it, as Ted says. So. Went up to, so I was building it up all week, right, what do I say to a gaffer, let's, let's try and get out alone, so all week you could imagine me going up, gaffer to get a word with you. So I'm playing over it in my head, what do I say, so, I've went, can it be, a bit, would, do you think it would be beneficial if I go alone? 
obviously when I start to say I'm fucking slurring my words I'm fucking shitting myself crazy. it was horrendous mate horrendous but anyway I've says Gaffer Jenkins would be beneficial if I go alone um, it was coming up to January tran January transfer window and he just went no and walked away for us <laughs> <laughs> literally and I was just like oh, I fucked it here eh? totally so I was I took a step back and I, I, again I kept on training with the first team and etc but a week later he's obviously went and done his business and he'd done his homework he's went and got a command he says listen command I could be on the phone do you fancy going there uh, to end the season I was like brilliant playing in SPL it's kind of my first real test, uh, test uh, first team football um, in the SPL as well so it was the highest level in Scotland so it was, it was great for me and it was I say that to any young boy now if you have a chance to go alone at the highest level possible do it I, but I was going to say that there I mean you were but you're an excellent at commander mate but see see when you look back at it <laughs> Do you think though if you'd stayed at Celtic, if you're training with the first team and as young as you, I mean, you look look at that now thinking, maybe I should have stayed? So nah. I've, so I've seen buds, nah, right? I, I personally think it was great for me going out of Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock ended up, we just missed out on top six, but they ended up beating Celtic in the final. Do you remember that? The one, uh, that was the like season I played every game. The one big detail Van Turnhout scored in the final um, to win the cup at Celtic at Hamden. So again, I played in the game that they played at the cup. So I couldn't get involved in, I'm going back to Celtic at the end of the season. I couldn't get involved in the guys, obviously they've won the cup and it was, it was such a weird, weird feeling. Eh? So it was, they're parading the cup and I'm standing in the tunnel, can't I get involved in that. Um, but again, it was buzzing for the guys, don't get us wrong, but again, I'm going back to Celtic at the end of the season. So it was, Just it was a little bit on Celtic, mate, who were the sort of players that, that were good with you and, and when you were in the first team, you were like, wow, they're incredible players and incredible characters and were good for you. Bruni was obviously the, the top guy, he was the skipper at the time, so... He was always, he was always class with me. But going in, it was always kind of Charlie McGrew. All the, the, the Scottish guys really took a, took a shine to the young guys coming in. And they, they were always, they were always, they were always, they were always brilliant with the young boys. They were always playing a joke on when stuff like that. And it was, it was good. But what I think, like, we were obviously away from the first team. So we we're kind of in a, a reserve changing room. So I think if you're training with the first team, you should be like kind of put in with the first team and you have to travel. And I was traveling like up into the country with them. Mm -hmm. Um, but no getting in squads, no getting on benches and stuff, but just being that, Kind of probably 20th, 19th, 20th man. Um, but I, Charlie McGrew, Scott Brown. Um, you actually, get, actually, I'm really sorry, you, you actually came on for Scott Brown. You came on you? for Scott Brown, now. Scott Brown, half, I came on. Brilliant, isn't it? I know, I must and have he, shuffled the pack. I don't know what he was thinking there. <laughs> throw Tactical. Throw-ins. Just throw-ins. Throw-ins, didn't like Brunny taking throw-ins, didn't know. <laughs> Freddie Lundberg was on a new sub. He was cutting his head on really silly, didn't he? Maybe it was him. <laughs> that was, that was him <laughs> warming up. Uh, he was bizarre with yeah. Freddie Lundberg, wasn't he? Oh, unbelievable. Weird, weird character, right? He was strange, man. A weird character. And I, and I, I never diss, because his career's are incredible, but he was dog shit, you say? Like. Nah, he was. He was. He was done, wasn't he? Oh, man. Go on. Keep but going. He was poor, wasn't he? Oh, terrible. <laughs> Shocking. It's mad, but, it? but how? Why? How was that? But mate, I, 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 like even if he's let's see if you go, his legs have went. Uh, but on the boy, but it was not. Maybe he needed an arm around him. Why <laughs> doesn't do that? <laughs> I've said so. That's maybe where he's went wrong. Remember Dirk Barrichter? He was good. He was smoking he was as well. He was in a fortunate set, wasn't he? He was a big signing. Uh, big signing. Trained with, us, he trained with the reserves. Who was the best the players in training? Sean McLaughlin. He was the best, uh, wasn't he? Probably. James, James Forrest. Wee James. Wee so James, James, I know it's your, your boy, but Wee James, he was incredible growing up as he well. He the best young player I've ever seen. Aye. Who, Jamesy? Aye. Jamesy was in the... Well, is he the same as you, aren't he? Aye. A year older than you? A year older. J a Jamesy for me burst on, like completely burst on. See, see, 14, 15, he was good. He was always a good player. You knew he was good, but you know, he's like, we did quiet, weren't he, and dead reserved. And see, for like 17 to he made his debut, mate, he just went boom. Lenny loved him, Lenny really loved him, didn't he? Nah, and he wondered if he was fucking ridiculous. Oh, he just probably because he was we up went, against like some me and you. We went away with Made Tingway, incredible. Lenny. Incredible. We went away with Scotland, uh, me and Jamesy. And, um, don't want that, do you know? No, or, I, don't uh, like, I don't want to play the first game. And the, the boys didn't really know who he was, like Flecky and that were in the squad, and I think Griffiths in the squad. Danny Walsh and all the boys. You, were you, honest, you might have been honest. I mean, you were there, aye. I remember you, you know, boys. I'm, I'm <laughs> you like the the <laughs> <laughs> and I remember boys like that. So they hadn't really seen much of him. He, he was in the youth team. And then I think they played Isaac Bajan. Scored a hat trick, mate. It was unbelievable. And see for them, mate, the boys are like, he's fucking quality. 
he just went bang, bang, bang. He so played some it, career, didn't he? He played in, I know you just said it was 17, he burst on the scene. That lot of shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's 15, 16, I'm no joking, we went to a tournament in Villarreal playing against Real Madrid, Liverpool, AC Milan. But bear in mind, I was I'm speaking, I'm speaking. <laughs> I'm no joking, right? <laughs> he was playing a tournament. Did he get it? He was playing a tournament. We got to the final, we got beat up penalties, I'm no joking. I remember that. He aye. was incredible, that tournament. So How, 15, you don't remember 16. it? You weren't there? I was there, yeah. I know. Because before you oh, came in, I swear. remember what you started. I played that, but I told you I was playing a tournament. Like, playing a tournament and against the likes, uh, I think Sterling, I remember we were playing. Liverpool were there. I just said that. <laughs> Liverpool were there, we did East Milan. <laughs> Do you like it? Who <laughs> So, Liverpool, they yeah. the final. So, you're going with Maloney and Forrest as the two best? Best players. I say, like, I Van Dyke, nah. Aye, but. Paddy, there? Paddy was incredible. Paddy was incredible. Wait, what, I'll him. Wait, what about Wow. Him? Scary. What do you think how they know they played as much as like, your other guys in the so like Paddy. I remember his first day pre season, mate. Fitness, aye, fitness. We, we, I don't know if you were there. First day no, pre season. He was, behind, he was actually behind the goal, he's yeah, at. <laughs> his hair was down to there, mate. And <laughs> I was like, I swear, I was like, like Ben and I were young, but I was like, who's. I thought he'd been brought in. <laughs> he's brought as a fan today pre season for the day. And then I swear to God, mate, see within a couple of weeks, he was tearing people up. I remember when I played reserves it. against um, Hibs and he went by five of them, mate. And it was having a goal and he'd just done a wee jink by it. Six of them he went by. Just passed it in the net and I thought, Mate, he done that Is that normal? Day. No, it's, honestly, my hips were killing him playing against him. It's just yeah. turned it inside out. He was one of the guys you try head for though, weren't he? Uh, he didn't, he didn't want to, in his team and he didn't want to play against guy, him. Yeah. One of the best uh, after the pitch, aye. Incredible. Right, Tosh, amazing there. Any tr- uh, Just before we move on to Kelly, because you're obsessed and desperate to talk about him, man. even though you don't talk about him, when you're not meant to talk about him, when it's, I'm controlling the show, <laughs> I'm keeping it running smoothly, ain't I? Correct. Do you remember you the cyclist yeah. ass? <laughs> oh my god! Slapped a cyclist off. I can't take this day. Honestly, being I'm driving back. You, you did. You, you driving back for later. Still, right? Can I tell this? Brilliant, mate. Drive, I, I still tell the story whenever I see a cyclist. It's the only thing I think. I don't know if you're allowed to tell this, mate. Yeah, well, it'll be all right. So the next thing we're driving, uh, <laughs> get him, <man>. driving up. <laughs> I'll tell it naked. Get him, come on. Driving up to back to Leicester, back home, coming up to the cyclist. Obviously, it's pure windy roads. The cyclist I say, Slinny, go and slap his arse. Hurry up. You can egg him onto the end. Uh, he was like, Tosh, I said, honestly, please just go there. So next thing, right up, I'm just literally crawling beside him, dangerous. Slaney, so right in the window, right through the window. <laughs> <laughs> I think the boy took it well, though, eh? I think he took it well. No, please, oh, <laughs> come back there again. Uh, oh, oh, me, well, when we were at say you used to stay with my, me and my mum, didn't we? Right, no, honestly. not stay with me, my mum used to say, and we used to go top and tail. Football manager to all of us, didn't honestly, we? football manager. He still plays that? Sort of it's guy he is, honestly. Sort of guy he is, right? He's fun and games, everything like that, right? See a family man and see this guy. Honestly, you're never met a bad guy. He used to let me stay in his house. I mean, honestly, he used to let me stay in his house, right? You, you never used to talk to tail. He used to go down and give me his bed, mate. He used to sleep on the floor, he used to sleep on the couch. I was at Slaney, I'll sleep on the couch, I'll be fine now. Oh no, I, you're talking, so, I mean, that was because you were still at Celtic, so I'd left Celtic ah, yeah. at this point, and then I, because he was still training, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a bum. I'm like, it's nah, not No, I'm talking. Sorry. No, no, you're jumping again. <laughs> fuck, I'm telling. That is nice, hero. So, what nice, I done yeah. was Incredible. because he was training and you, you had your injury, he took my bed and I slept down and stayed on the couch, didn't I? He used to get fed, honestly. Do you remember he used, used to go to Subway and Subway and the cookies, cookies, didn't we? Remember the cookies? And, and when she went very big, we had a few flat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the cookies is. Move on for that, there's nothing really in that, he keep going for that. Right, you know, Kilmarnock, Tosh. No, fuck on it, move on for Kilmarnock, please. I don't know. Kenny Rogers, Kenny Shields was the manager, how did you find him? Brilliant. Was he? Yeah, he was class. He was, you see him in the media now. Nah. He was, he, was he mental? Mind, spoke his mind, he done that day in, day out, uh, even training that, but do you know what I loved about him? He wasn't scared to pull in the young boys, eh? just throwing the young boys out, even he thought, obviously thought you were ready because he wouldn't have done it, but there was Jude, I think with Jude Winchester made his debut, there, was, there were so many. I played in his game. Even Matt Kennedy went on to have a good career. I think he's where he now. We Matt Kennedy went down to Everton. Got a move. Nah, he was in Obaki. Is it Aberdeen? Is Aberdeen? Is it Aberdeen? Is Aberdeen? Is it? No, I think he's still Aberdeen. Uh, Matty thrown in. There was there was loads of young boys coming through at Kilmarnock at that stage. Uh, again, that was that's what I loved about him. He wasn't scared to. Did you play? Did you start, Tosh? I know you I started. I think every. I don't think I missed a game at Kelly. See, when you From, signed it, did they tell you you were going to play? Right. Uh, uh, I think he maybe spoke, I don't know if Lennon says, listen, he needs to play, he's got good thrones, he's got to play. <laughs> no, but yes. mate, I, you were, honestly, Tids, I don't know if you'd seen it at that point, but you were absolutely brilliant. Come out right back and you were, mate, you were fucking just up and down, mate, weren't you? You were a machine. When I was fit, 
I was fitted and do you know what? I never drunk. And that's what I probably, you know, that I ruined is and I got bad injuries and stuff, but I started drinking at 19. That was that. Kind of just went down off the head. So did it. Uh, do you know what I mean? You can't blame injuries. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame injuries. I'm not making excuses. Some of the best professionals them, look after themselves constantly still injured, do you know what I mean? Nah, I know. They enjoy life as well, but we are ceiling, I think that's probably his issue. Didn't he know when to fucking stop enjoying his hell? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I have no. 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 I in the toilet with the trousers down, wasn't it? Aye, that's, that's still... That's I've still stopped that now, it. but it's always been my favourite. A few things in that cubicles that were kind of... Kind of speaking about. Remember Sugar Cube? Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, mate. He get papped out. Hilarious. Naked. I can't really mate, remember. Papped out. There was... He was, that's why he get papped out. But do you know what? There was cakes or something there. Do you remember? I was launching them, hitting him with cakes. Actually. And at nightclub, mate. Nightclub, so I've been chucked out. Next thing, I'm just sitting freezing cold, raining. <laughs> Staring at this door that I've just been chucked out, <laughs> hoping that he's next there. Mate, was he next? next? Oh, he was next. Huckle <laughs> next door, that was about 20 minutes later. <laughs> right there. Okay, here we go. Yeah. And then he says, right, I need a toilet. I'd be two seconds. Went away, I'm with Slander, mate. Gone. Gone. Never seen, never seen it again. Disappeared. Disappeared. I'm that? bad at that, isn't I? Really bad, really bad. I'd Good at that, that though. Why did you do that? Was too drunk? No, 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 no. I just mean in my life, I mean, it's mental, even with my, my closest pals. I, I completely like shut off everybody for ah, weeks. But why do you disappear? I disappear. Uh, just love it. Just not say cheerio to somebody. I don't like it because in case they try to convince me to stay and I know I've no good at me to say no to them. You done it with uh, in Kilsyth. Remember I lived the had the flat in Kilsyth when I was at Celtic when I was injured for that year. He just went off the face of and just came and lived with me for two weeks. I couldn't get rid of him. Didn't have a phone. <clears throat> went up to him and just completely shut off my life. It's mad that isn't it. Maybe we need to check that up and that didn't it's we? Good daughter. How good oh what a day. What a day. What a day. Yeah, two weeks. <laughs> what are two weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, forget yeah. all that <laughs> shite. Right, back to loan moves. Dundee toss you went to your home back to your home city. Yeah. You two ma you had two managers, didn't you? Baza Smith and Bomber <laughs> Brown. <laughs> That's what you call them, isn't it? Baza, aye, aye. Completely different they two toss and, and managerial things. Totally different. Totally different. Who did you like better? Um Probably John Brown. Did you? Uh, and reasons Brown, why? Just because he changed at, at the time we were struggling with Barry Smith and to be fair to Barry he never really had the squad and it was when Rangers went down remember they got the, the club 12 or etc mm. they got put down to League we know 2 yeah, we know. League 2 you know, okay, yeah. I don't know if you know about that <laughs> um, so when I think we signed Marcel and Colin Nish now they two are now the, the biggest signings we're going to just SBL, had the future for the sack are they if you turn out did he? Uh, I don't know that big Nish what a guy Brilliant. is he a great guy great guy, guy. Had played with Mick Kilden as well. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Um, so anyway, I had Barry Smith. He never really had a, a window to try bring in the players to, to be ready for the SPL to challenge. So we were struggling. Got sacked. And John Brown came in <laughs> and changed the what, tactics. What like, Tosh? Good. Oh, I you darling. Yeah. Well, no, was, she, like, was she a motivator? Big thing. Who was the assistant? Thing. Kept uh, Junkie. Ray Fallon. Mm -hmm. He kept Junkie. Um, came in. Got rid of a few players. Brought Gary Harkins in. Um, and do you know what? We went to a three at the back and it been hard to beat, mate. Be hard to beat. Mm -hmm. Big, uh, he put, you know, Matty Lockwood, I don't know if you remember left him, back. curly hair. Left good back. Good player, lovely. Great left back. Right. Right. Left back. Right. You're saying that, lovely left back. No, I'm not. Right. I put against him in the chat. I don't want to get him to speak because I. He tells me he's like. Right. He's asked me a question, I'm getting him answer that after <laughs> I have a speech. Speak. <laughs> they moved him, this is John Brown at his best. <laughs> 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 he put him, listen, he put him to sweeper. Put him to sweeper, right? Matty Lockwood, you see, good left foot, left back, etc. I put him a sweeper and he was brilliant. Absolutely excellent. So, well, that for that. Well that's done, John Brown. That's what I'm saying. Well done, John Brown. Move yes. Matty Lockwood for your left back. He just brought him in one and made it a free. He's brought him in again. I don't know if he got on job. And Georgie Boy, there was uh, <laughs> Matt Hughes characters, Rab Douglas Harkins, Martin Boyle. Boyle was all right. He was quite, he was a young boy. Young boy. Me What's and him, he was a young boy at. Uh, Dundee when I was there. think about that that was 2012 <laughs> 12 years that was a fucking, fucking hell I know <laughs> it was ages ago so was, could you tell then Toshi was, was going to be a, <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking about characters or you said characters or I'm going to get characters well, in a minute could you see he was going to have a career he said well, no no I didn't no? Know. no I didn't know. he went in and throws I think he done well in throws and he came back and he was in and out of the team at Dundee but I never thought he would be playing for Australia for one He's fair, Aberdeen. <laughs> so next time he's playing Australia World Cups and stuff. Matty <laughs> Lockwood, eh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I can't laughs> but anyway, United, mate. Um, go to a wee story where, like, Shabba Laszlo's in charge. 
So he's all about team building, right? He's all about, we'll go away, uh, we'll go to Avi Moore weekend, we never had a game, right? So I'm injured, right? I've not played under Shabla as well. I'm no sign of getting back. I'm going away to get my third operation on my knee. So anyway, travel up to Avi Moore. Laurie, I don't know if you know Laurie Ellis, you've yeah. heard Laurie Ellis. No drink, guys. We're going up there, team bonding, we're going to do paintball and we're going to train up there, etc. Is this pre-season? No, this was during the season, right? This is probably yep. why with fucking Shabba got sacked about two weeks later, right? So anyway, we're travelling up to Avi Moore. Well, before we travel up, I've got Jamie Robson in the car, Matt A. Smith, all the young boys, eh? all the screwballs that I know that I could Aye, manipulate. manipulate. That's the word I'm looking Aye. for, but I'll Michael. Um, been so right me to for Tesco, 10 years, mate, <laughs> right to Tesco, right? Um, Carry bevy, bevy. <laughs> for your you're get, you're getting him carrying your Abby bevy. Moore, to, I'll walk cry if you carry the bevy. You're right. walking out, I'm just uh, perfect. Next thing up to Abby Moore, we're obviously pissed by the time we got up there, right? Right to the bar, we've not even checked in. All the guys, we are the first ones to go up there, we're sitting in. So Craigie, Colin, etc. All the guys for you, Adam Barton, um, big drinkers. Right? It was a great, honestly, a great laugh. We never even checked in, we were just sitting guzzle and Chabalazos came in, walked in, seen me. Mate, honestly, he was buzzing, eh? He was buzzing. He was like, yes, guys, yes, was bro. He was buzzing, mate. Laurie Ellis, honestly, was fuming, raging, right? So anyway, the whole, honestly, that whole weekend, we just bevied the whole time, eh? Not a, no no training. No paintball inside. The balls got left in the in the car. No training. The, we went paintball and there was guys, there was a few guys, mate, too hungover. Never even came to the paintball and they were in their beds, couldn't move. Honestly, hung over. Just get really good, yeah. No, no, we never made it up, but um, we went on a night out and having more, right? I'm standing at the bar, right? Me and Nicky Clark, I'll ah, we'll get you a drink, right? Standing at the bar, next thing, mate, Craig Curran's just standing right there, like so close to us, right? And I'm thinking, what is he up to? I says, Craig, you want a drink? Yeah, lad. Just standing there, so I'm getting him a drink, mate, right? Put my hand in my pocket, get my wallet, out. mate, soaking it. Absolutely drenched, just sitting pissing on his mate. Whole legs, whole legs. See, so, I, I, so mate, I'll see if somebody like, done that to nah. me, mate, I'd be fucking fuming. <laughs> mate, but obviously, I take it as a joke, so I'm like, nah, mate, what are you doing? So Nicky's like, mom, we'll get to you. So I had to go, I was just like, nah, I'm stay, it's fine. Is that, mate, you're reeking a pish. You need to go home with no, the teams. Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> right, my boy. What was it like playing with Dick Campbell at Broth? I was only there for 45 minutes. Oh yeah? Literally. Yeah. I was at United and do you know what I needed? I thought I just needed out of United and I wanted games. I thought I was ready. Mate, I was never ready. This was after my, my third operation on my knee. Um, and again, it was declared, but I was doing all the twists and turns. You'd go through all the rehab, but it's nothing like a game. So again, I was, I was ready to go. Went to Arbroath. Bobby Owen, who's a good man of mine, was like, come on, I'll get you in. Get you in Arbroath, get a game. We've got Alawa. On Tuesday, Dick Campbell spoke to Dick Campbell. He was like, the usual, <laughs> just, just get, get yourself in, son. Went in and I was not a demon. Within 10 minutes. Is this a was, game or training? This was training. Uh, this was a game at Alawa. Played 45 minutes, but within 10 minutes, I had a massive lump coming out of my knee. It was horrendous. But even during that, like, Dick Campbell's obviously a character, but I've not even got much stories about him. No, I know. Unfortunately, I was just a bit sad. I know we've had, we've had a laugh and you're, you're a fantastic character, Tosh, but <clears throat> you did have a fucking horrible time injuries, mate, didn't you? Injuries are fops, hell, mate. But it's, see if you did your ACL, you get a, an eight, nine month programme, you know what it is, you know when you're coming back. My injury, still to this day, they don't know what it is. So, so can you, can you not play now at all? I could play. I played 45 minutes for North End on the weekend. But your knee swells up to But it swells up, even like oh, now it's full of fluid. Is that still happening? Still happening, mate. Still happening. So, like when it first happened, it was just literally a little nip. Do you remember I was doing oh, it at yeah. It was just a jump test, mate. Felt a wee nip in my knee and thought to myself, that's not right. still that? It's still this. It was meant to be a... I went for a, a scan um, and the physios was like, it'll be a six week. Um, I'll get the operation, you'll be back. No problem, done it. Came back from it. I remember being on the bike, cycling away, and the next thing, my knee was like a balloon. I remember. I went back to see the physio. The physio was sh shitty cell. Uh, Dave McGovern. So he was like, Mum, we'll go see Tim. Went to see Tim, the first team physio, and he brought us in. He had a look, and he was like, I've never seen anything like it. And he was like, we'll go see the guy who'd done the operation. Um, went and seen him. He was like, oh, that's no my kind of... I was going to say, do you think it is the opposite? He was the, I don't know. I'm nowhere for throwing in the bus like, but again, I, I obviously was, because I've never had any problems with my knee prior to this. Went and seen him, he sent us to somebody else, 
Um, a room with, a, a rheumatology, he thought it was be arthritis. He was testing us every single week. I went to see so many different people, guys in Edinburgh, guys in Perth. Went, Tim, me and Tim went down London, see a guy in London, um, does all the Chelsea players and etc. Nobody's seen anything like it. I was literally getting a drain there. He was like, oh, we'll drain it, it'll be fine. I was like, listen, I've been through this. I've, I've went, I've injections, take all the drainage out, like tubes. I'm talking tubes, mate. Coming out, fluid. fluid, fluid coming out. Next thing I would walk to the car or I'd, I'd do a bit of, maybe a, a wee run or something. I would just blow up again, eh? Like an actual that, balloon. Right? Mentally, that was really day, difficult. That's, uh. That was from the Dundee loan till I played for Ross County. That was my last game. I was 17 months without playing. So, and then without knowing the injury. So I was coming in and I was saying to them, I was like, like what, is, what, what am I going to do now? What's next? And again, like you've had the injuries, mate. It, it just plays in your mind. But I say to people that do ACLs and stuff like that or that do their Achilles, it's horrible, horrible injuries. But at least they know exactly what it is. Out. They know they're going to get back. They've got this rehab today. This is what you're doing. I mean, my rehab was go on a bike and see what happens. See if this swells up. It or try. Down, mate, it? That was the, I was trying to. I've got a question for you. Can I ask him a question? Of course you can. Am I allowed to speak? Carry on, mate. Sorry. <laughs> see, in terms of like that injury and that Tosh, do you, and be honest, do you think your career would have. Right. Like, yeah. I'd, 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 I mean, you did play at a good level, but what I mean is consistently played at a good level. Yeah. Yeah, I think if I never had, I was out for that 17 months and even when I went back to Ross County, you play on adrenaline. I started off flying under Jim McIntyre, playing in the SPL again. I thought, here, I'm, I'm back here. Knee was fine, but managed to get rid of it. No get rid of it, but get, manage it kind of thing. It was still, it was always there. It's always has been there. But I managed to, but see, after that three, four games, it was just a massive dip and my God, see my touch and everything. I, I was adrenaline running back, getting back, but as you're never the same. Yeah. You were never the same, but Looking back, if I never got the injury, I was a captain Scott twenty ones. I was playing with an unbelievable team. Well, you proved it, eighteen year old that you played. In the I scored. I, I scored that campaign before the injury. We played Luxembourg. We won three 0 I actually should have, should have scored a hat trick that game. I scored one. Honestly, I'm not even unbelievable. joking, you mate. Keeper made an unbelievable save. I missed an open goal, and I scored one. Uh, won three 0 and that was the first game of the campaign at the Euros. And what a team I had. Honestly, what a real chance of getting through. And I was going to be playing every week part of it, and then. I think like a few weeks later I've done this injury and that was it. Never played for Scotland again. I remember at the time it was it was horrible. Oh, we went through it together, didn't we? Went through it together and it was it was hard times. It's just the side of football that people don't see. They don't, nah, they don't like it's metal. And no positive notes. No, no, hundred percent we're gonna just round this up now. For the both of you here, uh, lads, what has been your favourite time in football, favourite club, favourite time? But we'll make it quickly and brief. Make it a debut for selling it. Making my debut at Selic, favourite time. Um, my favourite time probably Rafe Rovers playing wise. Rafe Rovers for that season that I played, one player a year and that, and I played 32 games. It's probably the most I've played in, in a season, so it was good time, done well, finished fourth, just missed out on. And best teammate you've played with? Um, best teammate, I would probably say. I went with my mate Tits. There you go, well, fine, brilliant. <laughs> played, so with you, mate. Yeah, I played with you though. I did. And you did the speed test though. And the shower. Best. Listen, <laughs> I played like 300 odd games for Martin. Brilliant time. Um, but I'm not just saying this because I'm manager now, but the last few years at Kelly has been. Is it, mate? Uh, she just won in things. Aye. And learning under Barry, learning under Tomo, even Potsy this year has been brilliant. Um, learning, Potsy's taught me a lot the other side of the game um, in terms of this stuff. He's been brilliant with me. But I kept there the last few years. Um, one of the things, mate, try to win leagues and mm. even though it doesn't matter what level it is, you know yourself, see, when you're... Best year in the world, mate. Ah, gone and went, so just hope I can continue that now, going go into the future and bring that good feeling back to the club. Brilliant, mate. And um, just to end it, you hear the electric chair coming in. Last meal ever. Start on main I've day. done it. He's done it. Do it again. No, what do you think? I'm going to change what I fucking want to eat. Did? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, go and ask us, what's that? Yeah, the chair's coming in, the boys in your gub. What, mate? The boys in your gub. The boys in your gub, you can't see how much. The boys getting put it in with me. The main, start on main desserts coming out. What do you put? Anything you want in a glass of whatever. Uh, chicken pakoras. To start? No, it's starter. Wait a minute, chicken pakoras? Or chicken pakora? Chicken pakora. But pakoras, because it went free. <laughs> Take Pecora because Take Pecoras Right, <laughs> okay right. I want to take Pecoras No, you right. said that right. Your main right. mission, man right. It's mine But you don't say Do you want to give me a football? You don't say Do you want to give me a football? 
Eh? Hey, what? Hey, you're all playing one football. I only play one football. No, you don't. Twenty-two men. Go. <laughs> go. Do you wish your wish your men? I want to hear this. Ah, uh, men, steak pie. <laughs> That's Fucking true. eight-year-old what? guy. <laughs> no. Go on, this steak pie. And what way is steak pie? Gravy in it. Mashed potato, yeah. roast potato, yeah. chips. Yeah. It's not even listening to me. Vegetable. Sorry, Michael. No. Roast potatoes, mashed potatoes, chips. Mash, mash. Three potatoes, I said, chips. Chips <laughs> and veg, Chips. your veg, no, veg. 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 veg. No, 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 veg. Bubble gum juice. You kind of slag anybody what you used to drink. Go on. Tell the cookie story. What you used to do. When you used to go to Subway. Can't remember. Try and eat as many cookies as he can. Do you know how many you got? I've got it on my phone. Do I? No, stop deleting all the videos you've got. got how many do you? 14. Favourite singer? 14. Favourite song? No word to believe. Favourite song, I'm asking. Favourite song? Ions in the Stream. <laughs> Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton. I thought you were going to really? say American Pie. Well, it's nah, Dolly like Day, outstanding. Michael Tidd's a fight, it's very, but boy, it's been a pleasure. Right, cheers, Lex.